Now, Africa is struggling with access to COVID-19 vaccines, with reportedly less than 1% of the population fully vaccinated. But the good news is that Pfizer and the BioNTech have now agreed to partner with BioVac Institute in Cape Town to help manufacture the Pfizer vaccine. While the active pharmaceutical ingredient will be manufactured in Europe, we will do the filling, labeling and packing. This means vaccines can be distributed throughout South Africa and across the continent from Cape Town. Aisha Isma reports. The Western Cape government has welcomed the move, saying it will boost the province's economy and create more jobs. Well, there's no doubt that uh, this is going to result in technology transfer. Uh, there's no doubt that it, the, the, there will be further site development, there will be installation uh, in the manufact on the manufacturing side, and I have no doubt that it will lead to uh, more uh, high-end health tech jobs in the Western Cape. Mania says the province has a vibrant technology sector which contributes to about 2,500 jobs and 1.7 billion rand to the economy of the Western Cape. But what exactly will be done at the BioVac facility? What BioVac will be doing is that we need to do some facility modification in our current facilities in order to accommodate this particular vaccine. What that would mean is that we would receive the actual vaccine it would be run through our facility. It would, uh, our people will get confident and you know, do various test checks and balances uh, and then present that to the regulator before we actually go for the market. And the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine is not only meant for South Africa, but also for export into the continent, which is in a worse shape than us. Take it from about a year from now, we will, we will be able to start the manufacture, obviously starting with some small volumes, just so that we make sure that we're very careful. I mean, vaccine manufacture is a very delicate process. Uh, but in 2023, that's where we are hoping to really now go full blast. More than 100 million doses are expected to be distributed from this facility. A decision that has been welcomed by President Cyril Ramaphosa, saying the agreement will contribute significantly to health security on the continent, which currently has the least access to vaccines in the world. Aisha Ismail, Cape Town.